Let's implement this, uh, this relationship quiz and question. So let's do that. So let's implement a, um, a schema here. Uh, let's see, uh, models. Uh, we have enrollments. Well, okay, so let's do quizzes. So new new directory will say quizzes, and under quizzes, let's create a schema. So this will be quiz schema server js, and the quiz is going to have uh, several questions. Okay, and and uh, so we'll also need uh, the we'll, we'll also need questions. So questions, questions. We'll need a schema for that too. So JavaScript. So this will be questions dot schema dot server dot js. And uh, and so here we will need um, mongoose. So this will be will require. Mongoose, there it is. And so let's create the schema. So this will be a question schema is a mongoose dot schema. And uh, let's see. I think we we gave you an example of what that might look like. Uh, let's see. Question. So the question might be. Uh, so here we are overriding the ID. See that meaning. We want to specify the ID, right? And the reason for that is that um, uh, we gave you in the assignment, we gave you what those IDs are, right? We're asking you to use those IDs. Uh, here in the in the example that I'm going to give you, I'm not going to override it. Instead, I'm going to let the uh, uh, Mongo database choose that ID for me. Okay, uh, so I'm going to leave the ID out of here. If you do declare it, then you are responsible for making sure that those IDs are unique. Right? And indeed, the IDs that we give you in this assignment are indeed unique. Right? So use those. All right. So so first, the the actual question is a string. Oops. Uh, how many points? Oops. Points is a number. Um, okay. So question. Question type. Let's leave that for a little later. That that was if uh, if the, if this were a um, uh, you know a, like a discriminator, right? We are, we're implementing here in a uh, inheritance using a denormalized inheritance, right? That uh, uh, that then you're just like in JPA, we had the D type that allowed you to implement in one class in one table implement uh, multiple subclasses. Uh, so this is the same thing, right? We here we're using discriminator. Uh, to to know whether it was a multiple choice or true false, uh, here we we um, we then uh, load in the different in the, in a specific fields, right? We're keeping track of instances of an actual uh, uh, object, right? That is being referenced here. All right, so we're going to do something uh, like that a little bit later, but let's just keep that for now, right? Uh, also, notice that I am not going to declare a collection, meaning. I'm not going to store these questions in a specific uh, collection. Instead, this is only going to live uh, as part of its parent schema, right? And the parent schema is going to be a quiz, right? So let's uh, let's head over and implement the quiz. So in the quiz, the schema is going to look like this. We say const load mongoose, and we're going to require mongoose. And let's implement the question schema. I'm, I'm sorry, the quiz schema. So quiz schema. This is going to do be um, mongoose dot schema. Okay. And um, so the, the the quiz is going to be. Um, I'm going to put a title here, maybe. So this is a title. And uh, again, this could be just a string. Um, uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to give it a default. So I'm going to say that the type is indeed string, but the default, right? If you don't give me a title, right, I'm going to default to new quiz. Okay. Now, I guess we could do the same thing for for the question. All right, for the question schema, we might also give it a uh, a title, and 
and the type is string and the fault is new question. There we go. Uh, also, uh, since we're going to be using this from the other schema, I'm going to export it. So I'm going to say module dot uh, exports equals question schema. So from here, right, we're going to say that I'm going to have a whole bunch of questions. And again, I could do it two ways, right? I'm going to say this is going to be an array of, right? Uh, of I can I can be this could be a reference and this could be an array of foreign keys, right? We could be we could do it this way. So, um, and so actually let's, let's do it both ways, right? Question references, right? So uh, type this would be uh, mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID, right? And this is going to reference. Uh, the um, it's going to reference question model. Okay, so that's one way of implementing it. The other way to implement it. So so this this implementation is as an aggregate right implementation. I have a an array of foreign keys, but if I re am removed right as a document, those objects exist in a different collection. But instead, if I say that this is a questions question, so this is a questions aggregate using the aggregation. If instead I say say questions composition, right? It's still an array, but uh, instead of having a reference to 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 uh, to the other uh, objects, right? I can actually have the objects live inside here. Right, so the, the 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 type here would be um, the the question type. We can say question const question schema require, uh, and uh, this would be uh, go up one, then to questions, and then question schema. Right, and this would be question schema. See that. Uh, meaning that that uh, whatever uh, you know, if I'm going to instantiate, right? If I'm, I'm going to push objects in here that need to be of this structure, need to have a title, needs to have a question, needs to be a point, it would be embedded right here. Actually, I could be I could do it yet another way. I could say questions embedded, embedded. Could be an array where the object actually lives right here. This definition is right there. See that? Meaning, I didn't even declare it outside in a different file. It's embedded right here. It doesn't live anywhere else. Okay. So I have these three, three alternative ways of implementing it. Right. Uh, one of them is is a is a is a definite reference right to a document that lives in a separate collection. Okay. Um, and these two are both implementations as composition, right? Uh, now this composition implementation here uh, depends on the schema being, you know, implemented in a uh, in a separate file. Whereas here, right, if if I know that this schema, this question schema, is not going to be used anywhere else in my in my uh, project, right? Um, you know, this th then it would th there would be no point in declaring it in a separate file. And then importing it, and then declaring it here, right? If if uh, if I am certain, right, that this uh, that this uh, information is is not going to be used anywhere else but inside my my declaration for a quiz, right? The preferable implementation is just the embedded declaration, okay? Right. In in all these three cases, we're going to have to retrieve these fields, right, and do a push. We're going to have to push. But what we push is different, right? For this one, we're going to have to push an ID, an ID of an object, right? That that lives uh, lives elsewhere. Okay. Uh, in this one, I'm going to have to push an actual object. In both cases here, this one and this one, I'm going to have to push an actual object, right? That has uh, this structure, right? In, for, for both cases, for both cases, right? For this composition and for this embedded. Right, I would need to push an object that has two strings and a number. Okay, 
All right, so let's let's play around with uh with some of these um, uh, and, and see if we can uh, if we can add, remove, uh, and and some some information here between quizzes and questions and whatnot. Okay. Did, did anybody have a question? Make sense? Uh, also, let's not forget that uh, we we are going to store this quiz in a collection. So we need to say this is going to live in a collection called uh, quizzes, and we're going to export this, right? So we say module dot exports quizzes. Uh, quizzes. What is it? Oh, quiz schema. Quiz schema. There we go. 